Hi, my name is Alfonso Lopez, and I'm the CEO of 305 Broadcast. Yes, yes, I know I have an accent, but I've been selling equipment and designing studio and transmitter sites for the last 25 years. I hope you enjoy today's video. This is our next FM transmitter series, manufactured by AV Electronica, a 40-year-old factory that's been doing FM and TV transmitter for all over the world. First, I'd like to highlight some hardware features and then I wanna go deep into the GUI interface. The first things we can notice in this transmitter is that it has a filter for dust and it's easy removable and easy to clean. The power supplies are located in the front panels and they are hot swappable, easy to remove from the front panel. On the five kilowatt version, one of the power supplies is completely redundant, so in case of a failure, your transmitter is always at the top level. In the back of the transmitter, we have our output connectors and we have removable fans for easy maintenance. Also in the back, we have all our inputs. We have left and right, two MPX inputs, one AES CPU, one IP codec, one FN receiver for translators, one SD slot for audio backup, and I can add up to two satellite receivers, all inputs with silent detector and automatic changeover. Also on the front panel, we have a 3.5 millimeter jack capable of monitoring not only what's on the air, but also any of the inputs that I mentioned before. But my two favorite features of this transmitter is that it's capable of doing SFM, single frequency network, and also that you can send MPX output over IP. As far as the GUI interface, we can see immediately that you have the transmitter status indicating output power, BSWR, and the frequency that you assign. We can also see right on the status screen the values of each of the power supplies, temperature, humidity, and even corrosion. The status screen speaks for itself, showing the measurements of the power supplies and the fans' RPMs. In the excited screen, we can see all the inputs and which one is on the air at the moment. Here, we can also assign the frequency of the FM receiver in case we're using the transmitter as a translator. On the MPX screen, we can choose whether we're going to use the internal stereo generator or we're going to use an outside box. Here, we can also assign all the parameters for the TS out MPX IP output. Of course, the transmitter has an advanced RDS incorporated, and here you can change all the parameters. And finally here, at the notification status screen, you can configure all the alarms, and you can decide whether you want them by email or by text message. So once again, my name is Alfonso Lopez, and I've been selling great quality Italian transmitters for the last 27 years. Here are my numbers, and I encourage you to visit our website, 305broadcast.com.